Good afternoon, it's Saturday the 9th of Ju July 2022 Just about to leave Seathwaite Farm to go up Laramara And it's a gorgeous day So basically I'm going up that But I go up Grains Gill Sotley Bridge, Grains Gill Round in a big circle And then tomorrow I'll come off the back of that and back round and up this way. So, anyhow, off we go. I've only gone a hundred yards, but I had to stop and look at the day. Look at the day. So, here we are at Stockley Bridge. I'm near enough here. People in the pool, a dog in the pool, having a bath. And it's bloody hot, I've got a sweat on already, and I haven't even really started to climb. And we've got to go up there, that's Alan Crags. And come, oh, I think that's Alan Crags. And come round, up on the back of there somewhere. It's only about four miles. down into the pool below Stockley Bridge very cold so I've just stopped for a little breather that's where I've come from just starting to ascend now but it's bloody hot that wind's over that wind's nice but it's on my back when I'm walking up so if I stop and turn around it uh, dries my face off a bit because I think I've got a sweat on I'll swing around you can see a load of people up there and they hook right handed up and eventually end up round the back of there and I'm just about to cross this bridge it's a new bridge actually, it used to be a lot worse than this Absolutely fantastic. Right, well I've just stopped I've just stopped by that bridge um, for um, a bite to eat. It's been no rush. But um like I said, just by the bridge here. Fantastic place to be. Smiley Bob. That is a gorgeous pool. I think these lads are gonna have a dip in it. I'm going to do right. If I didn't have this big bag on, I think I'd be down there. It's beautiful. Well, we've got a horde of ants going down now. Not many of us going up. But it's still hot. A little bit of a breeze. Boat hot. Nice view. The Derwent Water, well, Castle Crag in the foreground. Derwent Water, Skido, Blencatra. Now I've just realised I've been plodding the way up here. Not really taking much video. Because well, I'm sweating and avoiding all those people. But this is Grainsgill. I don't know if the sun might put it blank, blank it out, but great end there. We've literally got to go over that bump, well, a little bit more, but 10 minutes, another two or three little stops, and we've cracked it to, well, this bit. Then we've got to go left handed up to West Cause, then back along Allen Crags, and along there. That's Claramara. I'm going to stop somewhere up there. I'm not sure where. I'll suss it out when I get there. It's a bit of a breeze here, so it makes it a bit easier. Well, I'm all at the top of Gurns Gill. It's going to be years to erode that from up here, down there. 
there's a great end I think the sun will probably be blocking me but I'll shield it best I can and then there's a great gable over there but we're not going that way so this is where we come out the top of Gaines Gill we go this way for Sprinkling Town down Stired Town corridor route and you go left fresh cause up that way to where uh, get back onto the great end or that way scaffold pike but I'm gonna go this way onto Allen Crags and then onto Glaramara or somewhere around there. Well this is taking me just about two hours to get up there but I don't think I've prepared enough with me uh, food. I didn't have much carbs and that I've stopped and had some on the way up but I should have loaded up on carbs last night and I didn't, I just had a steak and some eggs. But we're up, that's the main thing. Right, so I'm here at this is S cause. And looking that way. Pike the Stickle, Harrison Stickle, it's the Langdale's down that way. S Pike up there. That's the shelter. That's <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, across the scaffold pikes right over here. Great end. Great gable, green gable. And this is where I'm going up. Well, to start with Allen Crags and over beyond it. Um, yeah. I've had a good bit of water now, so I'm feeling a bit better. Um, so onwards and upwards. You know, two and a half hours, I reckon another hour should be somewhat light, but then I'll have to find find somewhere what's happy, where I'm happy with to uh, put a baby down for the night. Could be faffing about, but anyway, smiley. Made it to the top of Allen Crags. This is the um, Ken. That's Granamara, so a bit uh, up and down. Towards Derwent Water that way. I'll swing around, I think the wind's quite bad. There's Derwent Water down there where my mate Mr. Booth and Heather, his lovely wife, are staying this week. Hello, John and Heather. Angle Town's down in that bowl. I stopped actually that bit in the foreground to see the path. I stopped just down there um, somewhere. Um, what was it called? Black Crags. A few weeks back, that was nice. I'm a bit higher this time, and then we come back round this way. This causes down there. Great then. Winds going to be terrible. Sprinkling town. There'll be a load of tents there. Great gable, green gable. And round, I thought the wind's too bad. So I'm going to crack on now and uh, have a wander across this valley. I really want, ideally, I'd like to be over the top, over there, um, but I'll have a wander and see. Well, I'm sort of come off Allen Crags, I'm down in the bottom. That's the summit of Glaramara up there. These are a couple of nice looking tarns. Um, I could be up on, but I think I'm going to push on and get over the other side of Glaramara. <coughs> I'd like to see the view off the top tonight in case there's no view tomorrow. And I think there's a bit of a tarn on the on side, but there's a bloke in front of me about half a mile. I'm just hoping he's not going to be up there. Well, anywhere near me, but not that I can do about it if he does. Anyway, um, I'm still smiling, in fact I'm smiling a lot now because uh, the end's inside for this bit and I can have my bottle of wine and me, me nuts and my food. Uh, so yeah, good day up to now. Cheers. Well this way is the sharks and the crocodiles, we're on the stippy steppy stones, we're on the rock stones, oh we got away from the sharks. <laughs> That's looking back up to... Um, Oh, Alan Craig where I was. You come a fair way down actually, it's more than I thought. 
Must have dropped 200, 300 metres and I'm making my way back up now from up this track here. And I'm not sure where the summit is, whether this is a false summit. I hope it's a summit back. I bet it isn't. We'll have a look in a minute. And in fact, I'll switch this back on when we get there and we'll have a laugh. Um, it's still a cracking night and not far to go. So I'll find out if this is a, no, it is a false summit that I can see already. So I got that wrong. Oh, but that looks like it could be. Oh, freaking hell, we've got a way to go down. <laughs> so I've got to go down and up now. Hey, well, looks like it's over that way. Bugger. Still, I haven't yet any done tonight. Instead of shopping myself, if I'd stopped it back at them other towns, I'd have. <laughs> I'd have been first with this tomorrow, I'd have gone, oh bugger. So I'll just have to go and see how we get on. The wind noise is going to be a bit of a pain, but if you want to lose these views now, Great Gable and all that jazz. Because I'm not far off the summit of Glaramara, so I'll just uh, a swing round and look towards the Langdales. Because I'm pretty confident. There might be another summit after this, but it's not far, <laughs> says Bob. It's got to be within 400 yards. And then it's just a case of walking, finding somewhere to pitch up off the top line. So we'll see if I'm right. Well, I'll get to them sheep. I'll switch this back on. I'll either be laughing or crying. But look, I don't know. It could be. Stone. Oh, yeah, this Stonehenge. Stonehenge was a false summit, but we're still not far off. Wind's going to be crap. One of them. So I reckon head for that gap and have a look. Yeah, there's people walking up there now. Right, I can definitely see the summit. There's a guy there. Just there. And it's not too bad to get to, and it's the last. Well, I've been following these kids. The last in the white's got a bad knee, actually. She did offer to lend me walking pole, but she said she'd be alright. The wind noise isn't too bad. So I've got to the summit of Glaramara. Um, I've got to find somewhere to get the baby up. But, uh, that's Stake Pass, which is a buggy to get up. That's out of Longstrath Valley. I remember coming down here with Tiffo, who oh, must be more than 10 years ago. And you have to properly scramble down it, because if you slip. It's not so bad down this bit, I don't think. That was really, like, bad. It's proper climbing. Anyway, we'll take our time and get down. Right, so, I thought I'd done a bad bit. I've now got to go down this, it's near vertical. I remember coming down it with Tifo. Um, anyway, just go steady and hopefully don't fall. I'm going to a big heap on the bottom. Anyway, at least there's no crocodiles down there. Yeah, well, I've got down. It's me army experience, I used to do a lot of climbing. Three points of contact, that's the main thing. And if you slip, you've got a good chance. Now I've got to go down and find somewhere to pitch up. There's a Akko, Hilleberg Akko behind there. I might have wander over there. Anyway, we'll stop it and see. Just another view of it. <laughs> Good job, I'm sprightly. The sharks and crocodiles in this alley, so I'll have to get on these rock stones. Oh, 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 they can't get me. Oh, oh they didn't get me, Alice. More crocodiles, Alice, and I think there's a shark in this one. So we have to splish back. Oh, 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 splish back. Oh, oh, oh. 
Nearly got me. Ah, they're coming. Phew, we got out. Love you. Right, unlike other YouTube videos, I'm not going to go over everybody by showing you boiling it, but I'm having um, Wayfarer chicken tikka and rice. And that's what I'm looking forward to the most, a cup of tea made with water from a beck here. I'm thirsty because I didn't have much water to drink on the way up, but I've now got myself um, that filtered. So that was a good uh, two litres. So I'm standing now. Right, I'll enjoy this. And then it's wine time. And this is the view from my seat. And I'm sat here with a cup of tea made from Lakeland Beckwater or whatever you like to call it. And it's gorgeous. And what a night. I mean look at it. Oh Jesus. And um <coughs> in my comfy chair the thing I've got to put my bed chair in so it gives you a back support and it's really good and I'll just wiggle it behind me I can't be bothered to look around put my tent back there somewhere and uh, that'll be up to Glaramara where I come down from I'm not going to waffle too much I'm just going to uh, take this in and it's uh, it was a hard walk, I'd, it, it really, because I've never eaten enough the night before, to be honest, um, not enough carbs. I, mean, I had a bit coming up, but uh, too little, too late, I should have had a load of carbs yesterday, but anyway, I've got here and I've uh, I've had a good tea and some of them uh, gel stings, so that'll be right. And I've also got a load of water now, because I've been in and I've filtered a load of water, so plenty of water to drink. I was a bit mingy with the water coming up because I only brought one bottle, a little bottle. Uh, yeah, but look at this, there went water. <coughs> Blen Carter, Skido. Oh man. I don't know. One of the best views in the Lake District. And quite, I mean to Steepish we'll go down tomorrow, go down there somewhere, but there. Uh, down that way somewhere but uh, I've done the bulk of the walk and I think I've only got about three miles, two or three miles to go um, back down to the car so no rush in the morning might take one later when I've had a drink of wine because <laughs> I'm dying for that but I'm going to drink this tea this tea is absolutely bang on I thought it'd taste a bit funny but it's absolutely gorgeous I have to bring some back it to the water bottle up with the stuff and fetch it home actually Well, I'm really chilling out now. I've got me wine. And uh, what else have I got? I've got me nuts. I've got me comfy seat. Wine, nuts. And a view to die for. And hopefully, hopefully, we'll uh, see some stars tonight as well. I'll try not to go to sleep. I'm, I've had a long day, um, work in the morning and one thing and another and driving over here. But uh, I've even got the moon poking out up there. So, and people go all the way to Barbados. And have all the two of all that flights and all that and I can come here and I've got a better thing. Sunshine. No people. No people. Not within maybe 500 metres as a lad in a tent further back and there's another one about half a mile to my left. But uh, no one within, well, hundreds of metres. So, a drink of wine. I'll switch this off. That tastes nice too. So 
So there's the moon peeking up above Glaramara. Then we've got low cloud or clag rolling in, so I might be covered in that shortly, but I'm not bothered. But it's been a magnificent night. Oh, I'm still buzzing. So I'll go back now and get in the tent. Um, well, that sun, Jesus. Right. Well, I'm not sure how this GoPro is going to capture this. But there's the moon above Claramara. And we'll come round. Great end. It's obviously looking over to the west where the sun's set. And then down towards Derwent Water. Well, good morning everyone. It's four o'clock in the morning. I've had less than well, I've had about three and a bit hours sleep. <coughs> Not cause because it's been bad or anything, it's just I was up till after midnight looking at the sky and just well wow, it was mega. And I'll put this outside now. It's been getting late since three, obviously, because of the time of year, so. Um, let's have a look. I'm just coming now. So. Yeah, I'll be tired when I get on, I doubt, but. <sighs> lay for another hour or so, make a cup of tea and then rouse myself. It's looking down Derwent Water at half past four in the morning with a cloud inversion. And you can see the silhouette of uh, Van Catherine Skiddo in the distance. Sunrise is coming. I won't see it because of those hills. I think that's round towards Havel, and in fact, I think that's Katsi Cam pointing over. Anyway, you won't make it down. And then back round to where I spent the night last night. I'm uh, really pleased. It's been mega. This will do me for a couple of weeks. I'll have to come back now though, because it's been so good. I just realised how much I missed it. Probably fetch on next time. Go on an easy one. Try that new tent out. Sun's out. Glaramara in the sun. I missed it actually. I was packing stuff away in my tent. Didn't realise it was coming up. Well, there, but if I turn the camera, it's going to uh, just fuzz me out. Well, there we go. And we'll get away from the sun. So, not much more to put in my rucksack. Uh, get it. Well, I'm going to finish my cup of tea, finish packing up, drop the tent, and then we'll be away down. Last look at Glaramara. This is where I was last night. You see a bit of flattened grass. And there's this there, leave no trace except footprints. I've just got to chuck that on my back now. Should be a bit lighter. And get away down. So I'll just follow this path down through there somewhere. See where that takes me. I know I kicked back round to the left in, in the valley, but anyway. Another look at where I come off, Glaramara. Stunning morning, man. Oh, she says. Brilliant. Anyway, off we go. 
So I'm just following this path down there, wandering down. Castle Crag sticking out a little bit with the uh, cloud inversion behind it. Can't get over how lovely a marlin it is. Just looking back at Glaramara from a different angle. You wouldn't like to come off the back of there in the fog. Wrong place. Because it's very steep. So I've managed to get down into the valley and that's good because I'm out of the direct sunshine. It was bloody hot even though it's early in the morning. So um, I think I'll go around that way by the look of it. And um, yeah, maybe just below the height of Castle Crag, so come down a fair bit. Um, yeah. Lonely tree up there, that'd make a good photograph. But I wouldn't walk back up here with my bloody camera. I'm just about to leave the fells, that's a lovely bit of beck. That goes down to that um, Borrowdale Mill actually. It's down, I'm, I don't know if I'll see it, I'll uh, keep an eye out for it. So, there's the gate that leads off, and then I'm in the sort of woody bits I think. So that took me a while to get down there, um, but I've gone dead steady because the dew on the grass and the rocks and that, I mean there was places it was dry and it was alright but there was a, I've nearly gone three times um, slip. So I think I come down slower than where I go up. Oh and there's some sheep just crossing the back down there. Look at him, sheep and his lamb, sheep and her lamb I mean. Hmm, could do with a bit of lamb actually. Anyway, off we go. So I've just dropped into this little bit of lovely woodland. It's nice to hear the birds singing. Only got about 100 metres of descent. Um, that's to the to the road, but I don't go back on the road. I think there's a track back this way, and I go through a thorny weight farm. I think I remember going through that with Tifo because we were out of water. I think. Um, Anyway, still a cracking day. I've been so lucky to get this weather. What a change from what the forecast was last week. I'm so glad I didn't bother coming and toughen it out last week and sort of put it off to this week because by it's been, it's paid dividends. Oh man. So we're on the running back to the farm. I can see it. It's less than a mile, I think, but I always underestimate. <laughs> um, nice bit of pasture to walk through. Some cows back here, but there's some. Well, I don't know, I might get them. Uh, they're under that tree, there. under there. Can't really see them. Cows and calves, so. All right. I might see the, the farm as they get around this corner. Oh, it's there, between those Scots pine trees, so yeah, mile, maybe less. Just found some wood notes, I think they might be a bit soft but I'm going to try them, and if they're good, I'm going to pick a load. Yeah, they're still too soft, she's picking that one. Shame, there's a load on that tree. I've only got a, well, to that gate and I'm assuming down around there, two or three hundred yards to go to get back to the farm. Um, <laughs> my thoughts on that coming down, bloody hell. I'm glad I did more yesterday because I was going to stop after um, Alan Craggs with some nice tans and do sort of thought I'll do Glaramara and come around in the morning but it's quite a lot from Alan Craggs to get over Glaramara and down to where I stopped so if I'd had all that to do this morning plus what I've just done I'd have been knackered but because uh, that coming down 
I think it took us two hours to do two miles. I mean, they're only steady, but bloody hell. And that's with a lighter bag on, obviously, because I've eaten my food and drunk my drink. But uh, I wouldn't go back again. I, I think the next time I go, maybe be with Anne actually, and we'll do an easy one. The dogs have heard me in the back. And anyway, I don't know if I'll, I'll not bother doing any more, because. But I have enjoyed it. It's been, well, it's been fantastic. Oh, and there's the waterfall over the top of that tree. I can't remember. I can never remember the name of that. That's that's, uh, that's Bass Brown, isn't it? Yes. So I've been. We've been up that before. Me and and Joe and Sam years and years ago. I wouldn't like to go up it now, like not with a big bag on. But it looks lovely. Right, that's the end.